Hello everybody, one more episode of Max One on One. I'm here with my friend. We're, we're buddies now, man. Like after Max, second interview with my friend Jimmy Allen. and rock and roll, brother. The legend. The legend. What are you up to? Oh, nothing much. Just been working in the studio today, cleaning some stuff, doing. Actually, not even doing music. I was doing listening to music, but I was uh, doing some vacuuming. You know. <laughs> what are you listening <laughs> to? The fun stuff. What, what's but, in your oh, stereo? I've been listening to some new Cooker. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, we so, got another song. We got another song coming out in a few weeks. I would. It's kind of a. This is kind of a B side. It's kind of an old track, but it's been kind of cool. We were kind of working on that, and Troy McCoy was uh, putting the mastering on it, and uh, so I've been kind of listening to that all, all day long, trying to see. See if I can find in, any indiscrepancies in the mix. Nice. How many songs you have so far? This is the second uh, one. Yeah, this is going to be the second. This is a kind of a throwback, but it's going to be the second one. Doesn't matter. Just came out, of course, which is cool. You know. Yeah, I love it. I love it. But uh, nice. you know, like some bands go one song at a time, and uh, for example, other bands like uh, the Daisies. The uh, uh, the Castronovo was telling me that they went to London to record the whole album, and then they're gonna they, they're releasing one song at a time, right? So, but you in this case you, you focus on one song, you release it, then you focus on another song and you release it. That's yeah, usually, doing? usually kind of weird. that's what it kind of comes up about, you know. But it's like usually there's a three or four ideas that we work on, and then one kind of kind of takes our attention away from those other tracks, and you kind of. You start to focus on that 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 one track, so it kind of it, it kind of works out pretty good. How's Troy doing? <laughs> he's good. He's good. Yeah, he's uh he's been throwing a bunch of mixes up and he's been mastering some stuff. So we're doing everything kind of in house. And uh, yeah, Troy's doing great. You should do. Yeah, you definitely need to get McCoy on for an interview. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, Troy, you're in, brother. As soon as yeah, I have time. In. Got you, McCoy. <laughs> And how, how's the dyna dynamic between you two? Because I, 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 he covers certain areas, like more into the producer, or are you both producing the songs? Yeah, we both produce the stuff. We both write the stuff too. Troy's a, a big part in, you know, we've been best friends since like grade school. So we kind of hang out a lot and talk a lot, you know, so we've been, you know, We've been homies uh, for a long time. He's uh, he's always been there for me. Uh, oh. So we, we have a good time when we do it, you know. It's like, uh, it's kind of like uh, bread and butter. It just gets together. <laughs> yeah, and what, what's the story? I'm sorry, if you want, don't want to answer, it's okay. What's the story with Battle of Mud? So you guys both left at the same time, or it, it was in and out? Because, I it, mean... Yeah, the, the story is kind of crazy. I, and not a lot of people like know this story, but it was a uh, Troy was actually with Kenny and I before it was actually Puddle of Mud. But then Troy kind of decided to go to college away from Kansas City. Mm -hmm. And then then like months after that, it became Puddle of Mud. Okay. Uh, Troy's been there since the beginning. I mean, before we got Wes and then after we got Wes, uh, Troy took over too and uh, we had a great time and the funny thing is is that a lot of people don't know this and here's a little puddle of mud fact for you when uh, Fred Durst first signed Wes Wes flew Troy out to uh, LA to try out for puddle of mud oh okay 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 so yeah, it's like I, I Troy's a Red's... really good bass player and a really good guy you know Troy's amazing man Thanks, Troy's man. amazing talking yeah. about that Look at what I got here. <laughs> you know what it is? I have vintage one that I kept for myself. Much, man, vintage. We, we had a man, still sticking. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, thank you for that, bro. That it, it, so, Jimmy sent me a bunch of memorabilia, like pig, uh, pig, guitar picks. Uh, I have them here. I mean, some of them because some of, of them I gave away was, was for a contest, but I still you oh. know, have a couple left. Uh, and thank you so much for supporting Max 101. Man. You are one of the uh, greatest supporters of this show, man. Going back to Cooker, so do you have any more information? Uh, so you, can you say something about the new song, the name, or how it's gonna be, or uh, the, the second song? Because it doesn't matter 
you know we, we, we are listening to it now um, but you know uh, I, regarding the concept uh, the second song is coming uh, you guys um, can you say something the title of the song no nothing yet yeah no I can get just just because you're my bro I'll tell you dude yeah. and then you, the name of the song is called downgrade and it's kind of a heavy jam and it's very it's really uh, 90s sounding I mean it's like Love it. It's uh, it's really a uh, cool like uh, I couldn't I can't describe it, but man, it really me and Troy both we are are, are kind of it sounds like an old alternative song from the '90s. I mean, has a kind of a heavy catchy guitar that I did with hit some like higher harmonics and stuff. It's really, wow. but then when my vocals come in, I'm kind of I'm, I'm kind of doing something different. It's kind of not more singing. It's kind of more talking, and it's just kind of telling a story, kind of. But the name of the song's "Downgrade." It's really heavy. I hope everybody enjoys it. Very cool. Yeah. Only for you. And you're, uh, I think you're the first to report it, my brother. Yeah. Well, probably this is gonna go to Blabbermouth. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, dude. Uh, so I, I love it. And then let's go back to uh, the main song that you just released, uh, like uh, 20 days ago. Yep. Um, it doesn't matter. So we were talking before uh, the interview, you know, about yeah, the concept. That's what it is, basically. It's you know, the whole thing is, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what you're saying, and you know, it doesn't matter what anybody's saying, you know, politics or anything. It's just all, you know, it's just all talk. And uh, like, you know, that's the lyrics. You know, it doesn't matter what you're saying. You know, it doesn't matter. Nothing's safe here. It doesn't matter. You know, it's like, you know, it's. It's kind of talking about what's going on and you're always at the bottom, you know, and it's yeah. like, it doesn't really matter if people, it's, it's good to speak your mind, but it's like having a conversation like you and I do, like not yelling at each other, just in, and, and respecting other people's views. I mean, like people are paying attention to mainstream news way too much and they're buying yeah. into this stuff and it's all a movie. It's oh. all a show. You are, you guys that do this, all this podcast stuff, it's the future of things. I mean, that's what's happening. And you can't believe anything the mainstream news is going to tell you. I mean, like, I'm glad that I have music to express the outlook. And a lot of Definitely. people don't really, you know. Is there a way to forget the world? Living on a broken promise. No. About Cooker, the, the name of a band. So how do you guys, uh, because it's a, uh, what's the concept behind Cooker? Cooker, okay, so we we practice. We used to practice uh, when Troy and I. We used to practice downtown in the hood, and it was a uh, it was this giant warehouse, and it was super hot, dude. Like we'd, I mean, it, it's a hundred degrees around here in summer, and so like it was, we, and we kept going. We're stewing in our own juices, man. We're sweating our butts <laughs> off, you know. And it's like, what? Do, why don't we call it Cooker? Because it feels <laughs> the practice space was a Cooker. I mean, it felt. Dude, you felt like you were getting roasted on the inside, you know. <laughs> you know the the I pain know. us musicians put ourselves through. And um, you guys, uh, so you you've been so you guys are best friends. So this is awesome how, the way it came out because I I can feel that in the in the music too. You know, like I, to to do it, collaborating and working. You know, bringing positive you know stuff to the to the to the song, and I, I can feel it in the. And it's a powerful message, buddy. So yeah, I can no, wait to, yeah. It, it wouldn't be, this, the, the, pro, the Cooker project wouldn't even, I don't think it would even happen without Troy. Troy Troy is a big part of this Cooker project, and uh, he was the one that kind of, uh, kind of kept, kept, kept it going. I mean, and kind of, you know, it was one of those things where it's like, I was focused on other stuff. I mean, I've always been a, a focused dude on music and stuff, but... It's like writing for other people, producing, working on this, working on that. You kind of uh, get lost in the shuffle, and it was kind of great to be able to to uh, have Troy be the you know the backbone of the whole deal. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, you know, and Troy's a really stand-up dude, and he's really talented, and he's one of those things where like um, it kind of irritates me that he doesn't get as much credit as he's due for being in puddle of mud and stuff like that and working yeah. with us you know he uh he was always helping us and always there you know to be supportive of uh mm -hmm. of my music or his music or anybody's ever music he's always been super supportive cool and and, and dude it's another thing it's like even funny is like my two best friends are cello diaz 
from Soulfly, a bass player, and Troy, who's a bass player. You know, these are my best friends in the music thing are two bass players. They both have shaved bald heads. <laughs> And they're the nicest guys, the coolest, and the most talented guys. And it's kind of weird. It's like, man, I could, what? I can't make friends with guitar players, you know? <laughs> That's what, you know. I was talking to Jeff Current, my singer for Against All Will, and. Uh, he, he was he's talking about getting a studio and i said dude you man you got to get a good laptop and then get logic pro and and get you'll you'll get you'll dive into plug-in land and all that stuff it's it's pretty exciting with all the plugins i'm troy mccoy was the same way i go get off pro tools it's too hard for writers you know i'm mean, even using logic pro and everybody troy was the same way he was like oh, i'm in a rabbit hole of plugins where you know you just find all these plugins and stuff but this killer nowadays it's it's amazing. it's amazing. It's really killer. It's All the plugins are insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, dude, I'm looking for everybody go to Amazon Music, Spotify, uh, what else? Uh, where, YouTube. Uh, YouTube. Uh, so you have the song in YouTube? The, yeah, um, got, got that on YouTube. I think uh, it doesn't it, matter. a couple days it was, uh, it was pretty cool because I think it went up to 500 spins in like a couple days. And, you know, wow. without a label and with everything, we're kind of promoting it on our own. And, just doing everything kind of punk style. Love and it. It, had, it had like 500 spins and, a, and, yeah. and right after we released it, which is really cool, we're trying to build it up and get it to a couple thousand so we can feel like we're relevant still. <laughs> Amazing. Dude, thank you for your friendship, dude. I love you. You're, I you're love you too, good man. dude. And uh, you know, uh, I hope we have a follow up interview. Uh, again, everybody go and get this song, you know, it, and you guys are super fast. You put every this song you put it in all platform, all digital media. It's there, you know. So it's yeah. ready, it's viable it, immediately. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to be. I'm acting as a label. Troy's acting as the recording studio. So we're kind of just doing everything, you know, on our own for now. You know, just we're and we're having fun doing it. We're not out to make a million dollars, dude. We're yeah. just having fun doing it. This is our fun. our friendship, our band. You know, it's a good thing. It's one of those things where we both still love hanging out and playing music together.